Welcome to 6.3, day one. We're going to talk about how elimination works when we're looking for the intersection of two equations. Um, it's going to take two days. So here's day one. First of all, elimination method is when we add or subtract equations in order to eliminate a variable in a system. So the goal is to get rid of a variable so that you only have one left. This is another method besides substitution, which we covered yesterday, as well as graphing, which was the day before. So the whole goal is to eliminate a variable by adding or subtracting. Let's take a look at example one. First step is, of course, look at the equations. We have 2x plus 5y equals 17, 6x minus 5y equals negative 9. Our first step is to eliminate one of the variables. Since the sum of the coefficients, aka the numbers in front of the y, is 0, we're going to add the equations to eliminate the y. So basically what I'm saying is here, look at this, plus 5, minus 5. When you add those together, you're going to get rid of the y's. So when you have opposite signs like that, you're going to add the equations. Now the numbers in front, aka the coefficients, must be the exact same. So we have the same um, number and we're going to add. So let's write that down. So when we add these equations, we're going to look at the numbers in front. 2x plus 6x equals 8x. 5y plus a negative 5y is a 0, so just cancel them out. And 17 plus a negative 9, aka 17 minus 9, is 8. So one step equation, divide both sides by 8, and you get x equals 1. Now in order to find the y value, just like the previous section, we substitute in the x value for one of the equations. And again, it does not matter which equation you use. I'm going to choose the first equation because it seems a little bit easier. 2x plus 5y equals 17. The 1 is going to go in for the x right there. So 2 times 1 plus 5y equals 17. Subtract 2 to the other side. We have 5y equals 15. Divide by 5 and we get y equals 3. So our coordinate point is 1 comma 3. Remember the point, the solution is the point of intersection where these two lines cross or, or meet in the intersection. Now remember the checking process is just plugging in the 1 and the 3 for both equations. I won't show you this here but I do want to make sure that you understand what the checking process is. Now let's dive into a real life example problem because I know you're wondering how this applies to your life. And now for all you theater lovers out there, theater fans, we are going to talk about the theater club. The theater club is selling a total of 101 tickets to its first play. A student ticket costs $1 and an adult ticket costs $2.50. Total ticket sales are $164. How many student tickets were sold? So as you can see, there are two different variables, number of adult tickets sold and the number of student tickets sold. So now let's make sure we put this down. Now that we have our variables defined, we want to write our two systems of equations. Now there's two things going on. We're talking about the total number of tickets and we're talking about the total ticket sales. So those are going to be our two different equations. So I'm going to title each one so that you can tell the difference total number of tickets and total ticket sales. Okay, first of all we are told that there's a total of 101 tickets sold and that is composed of adult tickets and student tickets. So you just add adult tickets and student tickets to get 101. There's our first equation. Now our second equation is going to be dealing with the price of each ticket. So let's, first of all, the adult ticket is 250 and we multiply the price by the number of tickets. Now the student ticket is $1, so 1 times S, and the total ticket sales is $164. So there you have it. We have our two equations, 
And now we're going to use our handy dandy elimination method that we're working on and learning today. Step one is to eliminate one of the variables. Okay, so step one, we want to eliminate a variable. Now the question is which variable? You always want to take a look at the coefficients, the numbers in front of the variables. Um, the numbers in front of the S's are both 1, so that's what we want to get rid of. You can tell that they're both positive S's, so in order to get rid of positive S's, you need to subtract them because they have the exact same sign. So when two equations have the same sign, you're definitely going to want to subtract them. So write that on the side. Whereas in the first equation, we had one of each. We had a positive and a negative, so then that's when we added them together. So we're going to subtract. And remember, when we subtract, we're subtracting everything, not just one term. So we have 1 minus 2.5a. That's a negative 1.5a. And now we have 1s minus 1s. That cancels out. And lastly, we have 101 minus 164, and that equals negative 63. Now, it's not going to let me write below, but I will show you just up here what's going on. We have a one step, so what we're going to do is divide both sides by negative 1.5 to get the A by itself. And we find out that A equals 42. So that means... 42 adult tickets were sold. Now we want to find out how many student tickets were sold. So we want to solve for s, which was the eliminated variable, and we're going to use either of the equations from the beginning, and preferably the, the easier one. So the first equation, a plus s, is obviously easier. So we're going to take the 42 and plug it in for the a, and it's a nice little one step. We're going to isolate, which means subtract 42. We find out that S equals 59. So that means there were 59 student tickets sold. And that is option C. So when we have a multiple choice problem, make sure you actually show work. I will not give you credit if you just circle part C. So that completes today's lesson. I made it short so that we can fully focus on these problems tomorrow together. Please make sure that you did 6.2 lesson check and feel free to try 6.3 day one lesson check. And until then, I'll see you tomorrow.